Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Now this is a bit of a diversion from my usual, uh, what's the word, uh, content anyway. But I thought I would share this with you and hopefully some of you may find it helpful. Anyway, uh, I bought, Nicola is a real coffee lover, I prefer tea. Uh, but I got this uh, Swan Nordic espresso machine with built-in frother as an early Christmas present so she could start using it now. Sorry for the washing machine on in the in the background there. So anyway, it had great reviews. Uh, it is a Witch magazine, best buy under £100. We got this off Amazon. It's in this lovely Scandi blue with a wooden effect, uh, gauge and uh, detail around the frother control. And that's the frother wand around the back there. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Uh, got it, unboxed it, didn't work. Started researching YouTube videos and it is quite common with new espresso machines to be airlocked. Now every video out there was for every other brand and make you can imagine apart from this particular model machine. So I uh, got in touch with customer care by email and they said uh, what they recommend is you uh, operate the machine, press the coffee button, which is this middle one here, and open the frother as well at the same time to purge the system. Tried that a few times, nothing, and then uh, on one attempt, we managed to get some steam out of the frother wand, the milk wand, nothing more than that. So I had to start thinking outside of the box, uh, and there was no way that I wanted to send it back uh, and I was absolutely gutted that it wasn't working for Nicola. So I came up with an idea, uh, this idea of bleeding, burping the system. I was convinced still it was an airlock because I could hear the pump operating fine. So I knew the pump was, uh, was okay. Anyway, I was crossing my fingers that it was okay. So what I did was got a, a turkey baster. Now this turkey baster, before I got my hands on it was uh, an inch longer than it is now and it had a, a syringe end this is a plastic one I don't think you want to be doing with this if you've got a glass one so what I did was I got some vernier calipers and measured the internal diameter of this hole here and the water tank sits over there and there's a little probe in there that depresses the valve and allows the water but obviously because it was airlocked it wasn't drawing water so I cut this to a very accurate size because there's a little rubber seal in there as well so it was a nice firm fit took the top off the turkey baster put on there filled it a third of the way up with water uh, using a measuring jug uh, put the squeeze ball back on top and then started forcing air and then after about 30 seconds uh, the water uh, glugged, glug, 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 there was a big glug, uh, the machine was on and running at this time uh, but not obviously letting water come through. Uh, there was a big glug of air bubbles up the turkey baster, the level in the turkey baster dropped and it filled the cup up started filling the cup up then and uh, a, a profusion of steam came out of the milk wand so that was it job done so uh, yeah it's a bit of a Heath Robinson hack but you know men in their sheds and all that sort of stuff uh, there you go so if you get a Swan uh, Nordic uh, espresso machine or something similar with this type of probe and valve there uh, give this a try I'd recommend that you try purging it the way they do uh, and uh, if not try this and it can just be a bit easier than sending it back having to cancel your order and get a refund or another one shipped out uh, luckily we had one of those in the utensil drawer so I didn't even have to leave the building so the fix took me literally 10 minutes to do and it makes lovely coffee really does <coughs> Nick was very happy uh, she drinks you know lattes but uh, she's been and got some stuff this morning 
to make some mockers and gingerbread uh, lattes and all sorts of stuff. So <coughs> great machine, great price. Uh, customer care team at Swan got back to us, you know, the same day. So there you go, folks. Hope that helps. So fix your Swan Nordic coffee machine with a turkey baster. There you go. All right, everyone. Bye.